Well, some breaking news. A Coleraine High School student has been arrested, accused of assaulting a teacher. That teacher was seriously injured. Yeah, so we broke this story last night, and now just a short time ago, we confirmed that the 15-year-old student is in custody. WLWT News Size Karen Johnson was the one who broke this story last night. She's live outside of the Coleraine Police Department with the new information she's finding out today. Hi, Karen. Hey, Sheree, I want to start off with this teacher. Sources are telling me this teacher does remain in the hospital tonight uh, in serious condition. I am being told she suffered a severe brain injury after being attacked. Coleraine police say the teacher was assaulted by a 15 year old student inside a classroom at Coleraine High School. This was uh, yesterday afternoon. She was then rushed to UC Medical Center. The teen was also taken to a hospital treated for what we now know is believed to be a self inflicted injury. He has been charged with felonious assault and will also be disciplined, I'm told, by the Northwest Local School District. At this point, no one will comment on what led to the assault, but a police report released to me about 30 minutes ago states the student ingested an unknown drug and then started acting distraught. Hamilton County Communications tells me there was no 911 call placed, but someone inside the school, possibly an SRO, did radio in for help. Hey, look at 80. I'm up at Coring High School, 8801. If you could start a life squad our way for a female staff, maybe in her mid 50s. Okay, look at 80. That's clear. What kind of problem is she having? Uh, head injury at this moment. In Northwest, a local schools has declined to make anyone available for an interview regarding this matter. However, in a written statement, they are calling this incident an isolated incident. They say there were counselors on hand at the school today for staff and students who were impacted. Reporting live tonight in Coleraine Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Okay, well, first and foremost, we certainly hope that that teacher is able to make a full yes. recovery. Karen, I know she's still in the hospital, as you said. Also, I know you just got your hands on those court documents for this case. Have you had a chance to go through those just yet? Yeah, you know, Sheree, I am still going through these at, uh, you know, this hour. Uh, I am like reading them right now. Uh, I can tell you that the student did appear in the Hamilton County Juvenile Court this morning, and he has been referred to an assessment center due to the nature of the charges and uh, possibly substance abuse. Uh, we don't know what that is, but uh, again, according to police, he ingested some sort of unknown substance prior to what they say is act was acting distraught. I I'm also learning, uh, looking at these documents, that a second student may have been injured. Of course, give me a chance to read through all these. Check back in about an hour, and I will have the very latest. Reporting live in Coleraine Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News. 5. All right, Karen, absolutely. Go ahead, take your time with those, and we'll check back for more information later.